Oh my goodness, Yay. dude. Oh, wait a minute. Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. Sorry if that was a little bit scary. You'll understand why in a bit. And the creator of this channel also happens to sound like another dog, but a robot one, in fact. Very familiar. I just can't put my finger on it. <laughs> But I hope you are having an amazing day, and if you're not, you guys know the drill. SpongeBob Nightmare Camera Flip! <laughs> Mr. Squidward, clean up in the head! It's about to get a whole lot scarier, Rip Pack. As you guys can see with the bats flying around and the smoke in the room, it is about to get spooky. And that is because we are gonna be opening up something extremely scary today. Something so scary, in fact, that they couldn't even release it over here in the US or in North America as a whole. And that is the KFC Halloween SpongeBob figures. But these KFC figures did not come out in America. They came out only in Japan. What do you mean they don't come out in America? Isn't the K and KFC Kentucky like, how did it not come out in the US? <laughs> How do they not? How is it too scary, but an American company makes it? Obviously, you've never been to Kentucky, Japan. But yes, they did release in Japan during the holiday season. If you guys don't know, even during the Christmas time, it's actually a tradition for a lot of Japanese people to eat KFC. So I think the fact that KFC is kind of tied in with the holiday, they decided to release something special for the Halloween. And these are some of the highest quality meal figures that I've ever seen. On this channel, you guys will see me open up quite a lot. But I'm telling you, these are going to completely destroy our standard when it comes to meal toys. The set is only four. But when you see them, you're gonna understand why because all of them are almost three times their value in quality to make the set even worth it at four. But not just that, we're gonna be opening up another product that is overseas, and that is these guys right here. Can you see anything special here? Anything different about our crew down here? They're like goth or clown? Yes, they are goth, Mitchell, but that's not the main difference. You didn't spot the main difference. Brian, zoom in on the main difference. These ones have a post hardcore band. They're very similar to the ones that we opened up recently here, which are these zombie figures that they released over in Korea as well. So these ones are coming from Korea. These ones are coming from Japan. But all I can say is whenever we open up stuff overseas, it gives us an opportunity to get some stuff in the collection that you would never see otherwise. Like, I really don't think you're ever going to get a 5 o'clock shadow, 7 p.m. in the middle of traffic Squidward <laughs> <laughs> anywhere else besides in Korea. So let's go ahead and hop into these guys first. And we're going to be finishing these up, going for these goth Spongebobs, but not just just that there's a chase in there that we're gonna be hunting for as well which is the purple spongebob which that's you guys know so sick. i know you already know that's the one i'm hyped up for the most but without any further ado let's get into this epic unboxing and if you guys are new here make sure you subscribe because you guys can see some amazing odd stuff especially in this new overseas series that we're doing but anyway let's get into it okay so we're starting off with the kfc ones the first one we got right here is squidward and you guys can see it has this beautiful demonstration on the side of how it works as well so we'll be able to look at it a little closer but remember this is halloween Theme, so it's gonna be a little spooky and I love on the front here They have the green eyes of Spongebob, which is just kind of a little different look But you guys can see there is nothing really on here in English except for down here where it says trick or treat yourself <laughs> They got the American lingo down very well treat yourself. They literally put treat yourself in Japan <laughs> Nothing in here is on English, but they got these random parks and recreations reference in there And it also we're not gonna go through all of them like this But it also has this Nick stamp logo right here this awesome hologram graphic seal of approval but this one we're gonna start with because it is already open and that is Squidward dude and look at the quality on that already man like let's just grab um, another Squidward I'm gonna grab one of the highest quality Squidward meal toys you've ever had so let's go ahead and check this out so fortunately being in this room I have a lot of examples but let's go ahead and go check this out look at the frame on it dude like it's in a casket and it's got the black like slime I'm gonna go with slime not anything else it could have been <gasps> Ink. Ink. Squid ink, yeah. Because when you see what's going to happen to him, it could be that ink came out. But if you look at the quality compared to our truth or square one right here, I mean, night and day. If you look at this compared to the best quality one, maybe the SpongeBob movie one. I mean, this looks like something that comes for free. This looks like something you purchase. Yeah. You know? <laughs> they went all the way full scale here. And not just that, you'll notice there's a speaker back here. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on. And then I think how it's going to work is you can see we have our squid figure right here, right? Let's go ahead and do it. All right, get in. <laughs> I've been waiting to do that for a while. All right, so we're going to slide it to the left here, and you will see that full figure is going to... Oh, God! 
<laughs> Divide. But let's go ahead and listen to it. You can hear him screaming. That is a blood-curdling scream. I don't blame him. He just got cut into three pieces. <laughs> I love how that sound, though. You can picture that sound with almost any SpongeBob moment yeah. of him getting destroyed, and it works perfectly. Okay, now don't move it till I. S and it's really awesome though because it's not all the time that you get them with audio. I, I think this is the only toy I can think of that has battery operation since like the Patty Mobile and the SpongeBob movie toys. So the quality is so cool, but can't ignore is the fact of the design. Like you would not get this type of Squidward any other place. So I'm so happy to add this one to the collection. We have the Severed Limb Squidward. <laughs> so this one, I can't wait to add the collection. I know it is spooky. We should save it for Halloween, but this guy is so awesome. I'm going to have him in the collection year round. We'll have to add it over here to our spooky shelf somewhere, if anything. But we got the Severed Limb Squidward. All right, so now the rest of these are completely sealed. We have Mr. Krabs. We have Patrick. And we also have SpongeBob. I have no clue what any of them does, so who do you think we should go with? I'm going to put both my hands on the one that I think you should pick, and let's see if you pick it. Patrick. I was going to say Mr. Krabs, damn it. Oh. All right, so we're going to do Patrick second. Let's go ahead and do Mr. Krabs here and see what we got. I have no clue what to expect, but we can see the instructions back here. It looks like he has like a little stand or something. And then what in the world? Check it out. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, look at that quality. I can't lie. There's a little bit of like ink that's on his eyeballs here, but you know what? If this like affects, if there's some kind of slide effect, maybe that's how the damage got on there. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, that makes sense because if they go inside his body, he probably scratched a little. So you put him here in his stand and if you slide up, there it is. Is, dude, that makes it such a sick design. Like, that's the way to display it right there. And that totally makes sense how his eyes got damaged there on the side. Because I'm sure they test them out before they put them in the bag just to make sure all the functions work. So that could have been right there how that happens. So that is beautiful. I love that it turns the actual shirt of Mr. Krabs into kind of like glasses for the jack-o'-lantern as well. And it really is scary. Like, if you look at it like that, Mr. Krabs, that's actually kind of horrifying now. That's just living in the shell, <laughs> yeah. It's like as if one of the those jack o' lantern Iron Man suits from Fairly Odd Parents like snuck inside of our armor abs. <laughs> <laughs> it just took over, yeah. And I think it's way better that it has a stand rather than actually just him just falling over and being like this. That's a very odd place hole there. I don't, I don't, but it's. Oh, that? That's not a bad. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> well, where do you expect the bottom feeder to poop from? That so totally makes sense, Mitchell. But I gotta say, which one do you think is scarier so far? Let's be honest, call scariness. Which one do you think is more scary first off, this guy or this guy? I'm gonna say Squidward. <laughs> you think Squidward? I think Squidward is more interactive and definitely a little creepier, but I feel like visually, this is scarier to me. And in the US, I don't feel like they would do anything like that to where they would completely transform the figure shape because it has to go through so many restrictions to make sure that it's something that Nickelodeon would want SpongeBob to be depicted as. Whereas in Japan, I think those rules are a little bit more flexible, as we can see with some of the products um, we've gotten here recently. They don't necessarily look like they go through the same standardized testing or approvals that they do in the US. US. So I gotta say, I'm gonna go with Mr. Krabs being slightly scarier, but for the interactive one, I think we gotta give it points. So let's give this one eight sea urchins out of ten. Okay, okay. So if that's more scary than what so should we give Mr. Krabs, like well, six? Well, that's gotta be, I'd say Squidward's at least an eight, yeah, and then seven, maybe Krabs. And also because the audio. If that one had yeah. audio, that would take it up a little bit. Alright, so, so far Squidward is our winner. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. You said Patrick, so let's go ahead and check this one out. Okay, he's what got like, heck? oh, it's a ghost balloon. That's sick. Well, let's see on the back here, it has the example of how it works. So it looks like, I am so confused. Is he like, oh, a twist top, but how does the balloon, I guess, work? It's like you pull it forward? Okay, so this one, I gotta say, is amazing. I don't really understand why Patrick has this afro. Like, what sports team is purple and red? Just trying to fit in with the clowns over here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is gonna make a lot of sense in seven months in Korea. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like what you do is twist this around. He's got his normal shorts also, and they're turned into like overalls. Overalls, yeah. Yeah, like I was trying to think of the word overalls, a like clown overalls, but you let go of the twister and you can see that he swivels around and he's trying to get pulled back and he's getting yanked by the balloon, which is super cool because it looks very realistic. Yeah, like he's actually dragging him a little. Yeah, the balloon is a lot of weight, but I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say it though. I have a little bit of trouble believing this balloon could pull Patrick off. You know, he seems like a pretty heavy set dude. 
No, I'm gonna starve. I gotta say, visually, this is my favorite one. It's yeah. so cute. And the fact you have the little wiggly bobblehead ghost on top, he looks like a banded boo brother right there. He is so cute. He's got a little bow right there. And then you've got the Patrick with the afro. That's my favorite form factor. But scariness, I gotta give that one lower tier. I'm Probably like, like a four. <laughs> four? I'm gonna go five. I'm gonna go five. It is not scary at all, but it does fit the vibes of Halloween very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a five. So five sea urchins on. On screen out of 10. All right, our last one up here is the sponge himself. And oh my lord, I have a feeling this one's gonna be cool. It's got a twist top, but it already shows that you have like a bat demon SpongeBob. <laughs> and look at the tail. It's gonna be a heart, which is so cute. And then we also, let's just check it out. Ooh, okay, so hopefully it's not broken. It looks like the wing did come off, but look at the form factor on this already. It's so nice. And it looks like the wings kind of rock. It definitely has to be like a demon or something. Yeah, I think it's a bat. Bat demon, because the I would say bat, but typically bats don't have tails like this, right? No, yeah. <laughs> demon bat, which again you would never see in SpongeBob. For example, you can see that black skateboard over there. That skateboard is a SpongeBob skateboard that they didn't release to the general public, and it's extremely rare and hard to find because it was a prototype. And that's just because the background is black. So on that actual skateboard, you'll see like blue, you'll see green, different variations of it. But because it had a black background, the Nickelodeon licensing team didn't approve. It just because they didn't want SpongeBob to be associated with the black background. So the fact that he won't even be in a black background in the US makes me know that for sure they would not have released this product over in the US. This is the only way you're gonna get a demon bat SpongeBob. Like I said, this video is a little spooky. Let's go ahead and check this out though. So we twist him up. Oh, dude, I can already tell. That oh my so god! Sick. What the heck? His wings actually flap and he goes up and down. But is that all there is to it? Oh my goodness, Dang. dude. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! oh! That was <laughs> sick. How did that one just like leap <laughs> among the rest of them? They are all awesome. That's a 10 out of 10, dude. That is genuinely terrifying. Honestly, this Halloween, I think I'm gonna do a video on the scariest SpongeBob products. And by far, I feel like this takes the cake as one of the scariest SpongeBob products. Let me just rip my face off. <laughs> He's literally pulling his face off. He is a demon bat flown here to tell you happy Halloween. I don't think there's any other item that has earned his space over here on our spooky shelf other than this one. And dude, putting his face back is even kind of creepy. You have to like peel it back, lock <laughs> it back in, clamp it in. Let's run that back one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to therapy, and that kid's like, ah! Did SpongeBob just peel his face off? I'm like, yes, he did. But in Japan, they're like, oh, I saw it this morning. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his brain? Top of his head? This is normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. In Japan, it's normal. Weirdness and uncanny is normal in Japan. So the fact is, that's the only reason I could think as to why we never got them. But honestly, it makes them so much more special now that we have them in the collection and knowing that you can only get them in Japan. I'd say that's in my top five for your meal toys. Oh, would you say? Honestly, like, I almost want to say that's like top five of my favorite figures. Not even just meal toys, but figures. As I'm talking about, I've spent like $60 on a figure and not been as happy as with this one. Yeah, that's amazing. Like, <laughs> I'm not saying it's worth the 60 bucks, <laughs> but for entertainment value and stuff like that, dude, honestly, I would consider it. And for collectability, literally right now, I think we have one of the only sets in the US still available. So we have those ones right there. Stick around. We're going to add those guys to the collection. That is not it. I didn't want to make this video too short for you beautiful people. So we also have a bonus right here which is the Korean set and we're gonna be hunting for that chase right there so let's go ahead and check it out all right so we only have four let's check them out and of course we're gonna be building these and adding these to the collection and honestly I'm not even sure where these are gonna be going in the collection quite yet because the theme is so counter to what I typically collect here the only place is maybe the spooky shelf but I feel like I would have too much SpongeBob stuff there so maybe we'll put it next to the bookshelf or in some kind of dark creepy corner that would make more sense for him so let's start off with the first one here we're gonna build them all but it looks like they all come with some kind of trading card as well too so let's see what it's got oh dude i just realized the card thing maybe it's not supposed to be just about the goth thing they're clowns but maybe they're like harley quinn's too oh that makes sense yeah because it comes with a card too and look dude we have a squidward doing the korean thing <laughs> <laughs> oh and if you look you see the korean squidward right here he also has a harley quinn hat oh yeah so he's like a court gesture kind of so i think that's why they come with cards which i love that idea again only in korea would you get this weird like oh let's make them clowns that 
play with cards that I usually, the only time I think about clowns, darkness, and cards is the Joker or serial killers. <laughs> <laughs> so again, a product that you probably will never drop in the US and I'm here for it. Anyway, let's check it out. Oh, dude, feel that. This is gonna sound so weird, but feel that plastic. Oh yeah, it's nice, real high quality. It's not dude, like- real high quality. That feels better than my iPhone. That, <laughs> <laughs> this is so high quality, dude. Like the cardboard even in Korea is better. So we take it out, we got these Squidward ones. So we have, the, oh my dude, again. Let me just affirm for you guys, these are all licensed. We have the seal that we still have also on the KFC one. That is the reason why they do this over there in the overseas market is because otherwise you wouldn't know for sure if they are licensed Nickelodeon products. My man has stitches across his entire face. This is the type of darkness that they would only try overseas where people aren't gonna complain about it in uh, you know, go online and attack them about this because this is dark and I love Spongebob and the whimsical nature of it But it is cool and refreshing to kind of see these different interpretations sometimes So let's go ahead and check him out We got all the pieces to build him But I'm interested in where that little card is because it looks like it came with a card But if I open up everything we have his squid feet here We have a cephalopod suction cups We have his instruction manual and then we have this little box that has nothing in it. So maybe the card is not actually what comes with it. Maybe it's just kind of showing you the characters that come in there, but the card would have definitely been nice. Yeah, it would have been sick to have a little playing card kind of with Squidward doing the thing. <laughs> now that I think about it though, these ones right here did not come with cards either, but I agree, that would have been way cooler. Just to throw in the little card in there, Squidward doing the thing, I would have loved that. But anyway, let's go ahead and build this Squidward, check him out, and then move on to the next one. We'll still hunt for that chase. <laughs> This thing is twisted. I honestly love it though, it's sick. I love it, but it actually kind of scares me. It's a little more creepy than those. Over I there. think this is creepier than those. This is a little bit past my speed, I think. <laughs> I think this is actually too scary. I don't know, you guys can tell me in the comments down below. I think they might have went a little far on this one. Just because the stitching, is that blood on his nose? Is it supposed to be like general like red nose of a clown? I don't know, but this is a licensed product and I am in complete disbelief we have gothic harlequin death clown squidward like that is creepy yeah how do you feel about it though i mean if it was halloween this would be the sickest <laughs> thing ever <laughs> we still so you see it here first john wade tentacles <laughs> unbelievable but you guys let me know in the comments did they go too far on these designs i'm gonna go ahead and be on the team of maybe a little too far but you know what i can't say that though because if what's too far they make everything the same they don't take some risk we won't get some unbelievable products like we just showed here you know, yeah. push the boundaries. We'll just be here for it. So I don't mind you push the boundaries, but I never expected to see a bloody nose stitched up. Harley Quinn, crack skull, like you said, Squidward. Okay, so we have that one right here. That chase is gonna be one out of 72. So the chances of us getting it are not super high, but we're gonna aim for it. Let's go ahead and pop that one open and check it out. So it looks like we have Patrick. And Ooh. oh my gosh, dude, look at this creepy blue spit or foam that is coming out of his mouth. He's got the blue lines on his face and then you can actually see his whole skeletal system over here on the side along with like you said a stitch and even a crack in his skull that is i mean the squidward one having the cracks in the skull was a little odd the patrick one having the cracks in the skull that makes a lot of sense man's got a lot of head injuries in fact he's actually an expert on them i know a lot about head injuries believe me Okay, so let's go ahead and set up Patrick here. Let's see how he looks next to Squidward. And then we could add them together, and I guess that would give us our Conch Street insane, like, clown Posse. group. Group, like a group. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and set him up, though. <laughs> Okay, and there it is. I guess if we give it a scary scale, I'm giving Squidward here an 11 sea urchins out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because actually, I don't even know if I'm gonna display these. I think that if they're in here and I'm by myself, they might actually scare me a little. Are you, are you for real? Are you serious? I'm not joking. <laughs> like, they're actually, imagine, dude, you're by yourself in here battling against SpongeTron in this battle for Bikini Bottom with that creepy music and this guy staring at you. No, man, <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. I mean, this one's at least pretty cute. It's pretty cool. 
cool. Yeah, the, together they're starting to get a lot cooler. I think the problem for me is, is just Squidward has X's in his eyes like he's died. Squidward's been trying to die since season one, but then Patrick right here looks so cute. I gotta say, I like him a little bit more than I do the Squidward. I'm gonna give him an eight on the scale of scariness though. An eight? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'll have to agree. All right, next one, let's do it. Let's see if we can get that chaser. Mr. Krabs. Oh, you called it. It is Mr. Krabs, not the chase ones. The next one's SpongeBob. So that would be the determining factor if it's our chase or if it's just SpongeBob. Well, let's go ahead and check out our very, very interesting crustacean. <laughs> <laughs> Saying it's got to be one of the weirdest ones because it still has his brain exposed, similar to how they have in the previous figures. So let's go ahead and pop it open. You can see we have his brain. Oh my God. <laughs> Look yeah, at his. Yeah, that's like bloodshot eyes. What is that? There's like know. lightning coming through that when he's got the same depth. Death X's in them that Squidward had. That is creepy. What happens to your eyes when somebody actually does spend all me money? <laughs> <laughs> this is rough. Let's go ahead and check him out, man. We have the red nose again still here. Let's go ahead and put the head on, though. Oh, God, dude. This is getting odd. I don't know. Who's I, think, I think Mr. Krabs just took the cake. I'm <laughs> creepy. <laughs> I ain't taking no cake unless it's free me, boys. <laughs> <laughs> This is how Plankton sees Mr. Krabs daily. <laughs> this is Plankton's worst nightmare here. Or Pearl's worst nightmare. Your daddy anymore. <laughs> this is horrifying, man. This was so much cuter. Why can't we go back to Demon Bat, SpongeBob? I miss Demon Bat. <laughs> this is insane. Was he number one now above Squidward? I'd make him a 12. <laughs> I know. Let's give him 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10 for Mr. Krabs on the sea urchins. Okay, you guys know this is like a little bit out of our vibe typically over here. We usually go for the more whimsical and lighthearted stuff, but today, like I said, this video got very, very dark. We got Mr. Krabs right there, our last one. Let's see if we got our chase, but either way, I'm excited to see this one because this is SpongeBob and it's gonna complete our set of four here. Let's see what we got. Come on, Mr. Purple Pants. Come on, Mr. Chaser. And it is, ah, oh, no, it is the common. <laughs> it looks like the regular common is the white and it looks like the chase is gonna be that purple one and it has all the sponge text on it and stuff. That is so cool, too. Ugh. I think there's two chases. Oh, so there might be two variations? They're all this, purple and a half and half. a white purple and a black purple. Oh, my gosh. Dude, we didn't get either of them. Maybe we'll open up some more of these in the future. If you guys want to see us open up any more of these type of ones, maybe I'll get a kind of a smorgage board of them <laughs> because we have some of the ones from this set that we're still trying to get to. We'll get a couple of them and we'll try to aim for the ones we're missing. But either way, let's go ahead and build our final spooky SpongeBob and then I got to go inside and watch regular SpongeBob to get my brain back. Cleanse. <laughs> Cleanse, yeah. That is unbelievable. Let's build SpongeBob. I'm ready, I'm ready to kill. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrifying. These are terrifying, all of them. Arguably, he's the cutest. He is arguably the coolest, but also he looks like that's what he wants you to think. But I honestly am in more disbelief by this set than even I think the Demon Bat set. Like that was crazy, cause that's like insane. <laughs> but this is demented. All right guys, let's just take a shot of all these guys. The entire group here looks like they could easily be in any of the My Chemical Romance music videos. All right, and for SpongeBob, he's our last guy there. I'm gonna go ahead and put him as a seven, as the least scary of the entire group here. Yeah, but I think it's... <laughs> all of them have passing grades on their percentage of horrifyingness. So I gotta say, I love this entire set. Probably this set the most because they still have a lot of the colors that I enjoy seeing. But just for it standing alone and being very, or, or should I say, stand alone. <laughs> <laughs> being able to stand alone as its own type of thing. I gotta say, I love these ones as well. But stick around, we're gonna add all these guys to the collection but before that you guys know the drill stand it Okay, so we're adding both of those two creepy sets into the collection. And since we actually did some renovating around here already, now we have a little space in a couple places. And I went ahead and found a good spot for, I think, both sets. All right, so we got a little dust down here. I'm going to clean this guy up in a little bit here because I just moved a lot of this stuff out the way. Here, since this is a sponge on the run display, I put the sponge on the run pops here as well, along with all of our Jack Pacific figures over here. As you can see, our goth SpongeBob's are down here on the black mat. This is literally like the only, like, besides, I guess, the 
railing on this is like the only black in the room. So that was just like the perfect spot for them to kind of hide in there with the darkness. Like they're ready to drop the dopest album ever. And they're about to be the main event of Warp Tour 2014. But up here we have the other set as well. So they're kind of with each other. The zombie ones being on top and the goth ones being on the bottom. And for our spooky SpongeBob Halloween figures, I decided to put them right here with all the movies. You actually can see the Halloween one back there. But eventually all these DVDs are going to be moving over there to our new DVD shelf once that gets ready to go. So we're going to have plenty of room down here. But for right now, I decided to put these guys right here with this set just because they're so clean. I want to be able to access them and use them, play with them whenever I want, especially this one. <laughs> we are going to be doing so many changes around here. So look forward to it. There's going to be changes to all of the background here coming up, like I said, this week and probably a little bit of next week. There's going to be some other videos dropping in between them, of course, some that I'm extremely excited about. But expect all of those different updates toward I think we're going to start with this section over here, obviously. And then we're going to work on the shelves going this way. They work on our bookshelves, all that stuff. We have so much to do in here and I can't wait to do it with you guys this year. So make sure you guys subscribe. And also, if you haven't already noticed, welcome to one of Marcus's Forgotten Outros. <laughs> Episode number 1,444. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you smack that like button and subscribe if you're new here. And also check out this video on your screen right here, which is the last epic video on this channel. I know you guys are going to enjoy it. It was so much fun. I traveled all the way to Canada just to go to Toys R Us. Yes, there's one in Macy's, which we may be visiting very, very soon. But the real thing itself is located in Canada. So I went all the way over there along with going to a bunch of other stores that I found that you never see here in America. So I highly recommend you guys check that out. Go follow me on whatnot if you guys haven't already. All that great stuff. But as always, Rep Pack, I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Bloop.